Hello everybody, welcome back to Thomas C. Base. Today we're in my room and I'm going to be going over my fish aquarium and my frog tank right there. I've done a couple of these videos back on, like, on the old channel. The old channel is still the same channel as the one I'm, not, I'm on now, except I kind of deleted a bunch of old videos, kind of reset, because I want to do some you know different stuff on, on the channel, change my name and stuff. Uh, and to go with that theme of outdoors, I have lots of animals here. I'm going to show y'all. Um, so let's get right into the video, and, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be coming off a new intro sooner or later, but stay tuned for awesome, cool videos coming up. Alright, so this is in my, uh, my room here, actually a room with my brother, um, but basically, this is the setup. Alright, so we'll start up at the top with, actually, no, we'll start with the base. Uh, this, this is a shelf my dad built about 10 years ago, or about... I don't know, 20, 15 years ago, when um, he first bought this tank aquarium. This is a 30-gallon tank. I don't know the brand of it, but, I mean, it's just 30 gallons. And uh, nice fluorescent UV lights up there. Um, helps the plants grow and uh, keeps all the fish and animals happy. <laughs> um, as far as the filter goes, um, this is a... I can get the box out for you. Top fin... Top fin MF forty, um, and it's actually kind of cool because, um, it's four forty gallon aquariums, but this is a thirty, which means it has a little bit more power than it needs, so it moves the water a little bit better. That's so that's pretty good. As so uh, for substrate, I have white pea gravel from our driveway. Um, I mean it's just you know, you know, dirt road gravel, so pretty good. Clean it up, nice and pearly white. A uh, little bitty pit. I like petrified wood. I have a very, uh, hello turtle. I have a very abundant, like a much, a lot of it around here. And so, um, collecting it over the years. Kind of build a nice little landscape in here. This is a piece of old driftwood, um, which goes up to the top. This is a Zoomed floating basking turtle dock here with a heat lamp. This one's not that hot, so it doesn't melt the glass or melt the plastic up here. But it does warm the turtles up and help them, uh, you know, do their thingy. Uh, you know, bask in the heat and stuff, maintain body temperature. And that comes up to the top right there too, so they can bask on that and that. As far as plants in the aquarium, uh, I'm not too big on plants. Um, but I did recently add this plant right here it's just you know a little fake plant with the weight um and it would sit up more straight except the water level is kind of low right now so it kind of leans over but that's okay y'all want food don't y'all i don't have any food go away you know got some granite rocks back there so it's just a bunch of rocks and uh good stuff now i'm gonna show you all the animals that live in this one we have a three inch bluegill four little creek green sunfish two red ear sliders this is a boy, or this is a girl named Tortuga, and that's a boy named Pee Wee. Far in the back, which he really never hides, but for some reason he is, when I'm making my video, that's a long ear sunfish uh, I found in the creek by my house. Really pretty fish, um, but he's obviously hiding right now, so maybe later when he comes out, I can show y'all. Do these uh, pretty little mystery snails. They kind of eat the algae off the bottom. And then I have an actual algae eater fish right there and right now he's currently gorging himself on that stick so there's a little bit of algae in here um that builds up over time with most aquariums and we got him the other day and he's been doing a great job so oh yeah no fishing sign i, I really like that so overall this 30 gallon tank is a pretty nice little thingy um does the job um i am probably gonna be saving up for a bigger you know maybe 60 or 70 gallon giant tank um but this is mostly my freshwater, you know, creek fish. Um, of course, you put a little goldfish and tropical fish. But, I mean, I like to go catch my own little perch in creeks and ponds and stuff and put them in here. So, that does it for the pond tank. Um, now, on the bottom shelf here, we have some more cool stuff. Down here, I have this aquarium book. And it and it's really cool because it gives you a, the natural aquarium handbook. and talks all about, you know, fish and how you should... You know, keep them and the maintenance and the materials. And it's just overall great little book my dad gave me when I set up my tank. 
Uh, and here I have all the stuff, a uh, hand sanitizer, because um, turtles have been known to carry salmonella and with the frog. And um, uh, I have turtle pellets here for the for the turtles. And I have some uh, little freeze-dried cricket shrimp and mealworms as treats. And then this is what I feed the fish on a uh, daily basis. Every morning when I get up, I will feed them, uh, along with the turtles, but I'll feed them this goldfish food. They'll eat anything. I sometimes throw little crickets and grasshoppers in there I catch, and they'll eat that too. A uh, little bitty net for, you know, scooping stuff out, and, you know, you need a net. I'm joined by my sister, Addison, so... Hi! If uh, you hear weird stuff, it's her. Uh, scissors, because I have them. Sponge for cleaning the tank. Um, toothbrush for cleaning the rocks. Old toothbrush, of course. And then... This thermometer, which is important because it tells you the temperature in the water. And then a little scoop here. I can scoop up the turtle pellets and drop it in there. Uh, and the hand sanitizer. I don't use it that much, but it's good there. I don't think a friend comes over. Uh, this is all the extra rocks and stuff I have for the tank. Because, you know, every time I clean it out, I add something or take something out, you know. I never keep it the same, usually. Um, so I always keep these right here. Now on to the newest addition. Um, this is a five and a half gallon, just uh, I think it's Aqua Dawn tank or whatever it's called. Jeez. Uh, down here I have a big net. And then the lights to the uh, tank and the heat lamp are connected to this extension cord which goes behind the bed. If you're wondering, I gave him that net. Are you quiet now? Yes. Thank you. This is my frog. Currently, my frog, uh, I bought this uh, the other day. Pretty, It's a pretty nice little five-gallon tank. You can put a little goldfish in there. You can put anything you want once the frog is gone. Um, this is a little water dish, a little pond form, a little kind of house back there. Some sticks for him to climb on. I'm growing an ivy in there, so when it gets big enough, I can take it out. And, you know, it's going to take over the tank like a jungle. And then this right here, I built that little house. Um, if you want to know... How to build a little um, a little house for your creatures with one branch. Leave a comment down below. Uh, tiny creature house. And I'll make a little five minute video with the time lapse showing you how to properly build one of those cool little houses. Mr. Froggy is chilling back there behind the house. Probably freaked out because he doesn't know what's going on. Um, but you have to keep this place pretty moist. Uh, so dirt and stuff. But He is a green tree frog by the way. And then I also have a snail which has... He's up here chilling. My snail, I caught it on a walk to, um, we went on a walk and I saw him on the road. And when I do, uh, the frog tank video, I'll show you the snail, but he, he's, he's there. He's oh. subscribed. So that's basically it. Um, I am looking to expand, you know, my tanks and, uh, my aquariums and hopefully, you know, expand and get more animals. Um, I can put it right there too, or I can even put them on this this black shelf right here, you know, which has a bunch of crap on it, my fishies. But um, oh yeah, if you want to see how to make one of these bass right here out of wood, leave a comment down below, wooden bass video, and I'll make one and show you guys. All right, that's about it. Um, I kind of like how this is all set up, one big central place. Um, I will do plenty of videos on this stuff and setting them up and time lapses and cleaning them out. It's going to be really cool um, on the new channel system setup I have going on. But if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like she said, before she left. Good luck. And um, if you want to see those uh, if you want to see those fish made, leave a comment down below. That's about it. Pretty nice little setup here. I'll see you later.